From the heartland of America to every nation on earth, this is Jack Van Empe Presents The Truth in News and Commentary. Here now are doctors Jack and Rexella Van Empe. Hello and welcome to Jack Van Empe Presents. Newsweek magazine had quite an article that we will be dealing with today. We are all socialists now. And Newt Gingrich's new book, To Save America. Also, the future of capitalism. We will deal with this and so much more. Before we get into our program today, I just want to say thank you, Lord, for America. I cannot express what a joy it is for me to live here and for us to be, have the opportunity to give the gospel here in the United States without any oppression. We can give the gospel now, Jack, around the world. And we do, Rex, to 247 nations, every country on earth, every week. But Rexella, trouble is coming with this movement towards socialism. And the movement of atheists who want to do away with the day of prayer and all the rest. And the hate language thing that the UN is proposing so that you'll not be able to say that Jesus is the only way. And that is the gospel that Christ died for our sins, was buried and rose again the third day, according to the scriptures, 1 Corinthians 15, verses 3 and 4. America's in trouble, as you'll hear today. Oh, yes, Jack. And with that in mind, we need to pray for our wonderful country that we will maintain our freedom. Well, I want to refer to the 40th president. Do you remember who that was? He was the one who brought down the Berlin Wall and communism in Eastern Europe. He was a great humanitarian. He loved God with all of his heart. And he was a wonderful Christian man. And that was President Ronald Reagan. In fact, he wrote a beautiful letter to Jack Van Impey before he passed on to be with the Lord. And while he was president, as a matter of fact, he wrote to Jack and said, thank you for all you have taught me about things to come, eschatology. Yeah. And uh, it was a great letter. You really enjoyed it, I loved it, your Jack. books and videos. And because of it, I believe Armageddon is coming and America must prepare. Yes, absolutely. Well, he was very much for democracy and very much against, I said he brought down the Berlin Wall, remember? Very much against socialism and communism. Take a look at to whom I am referring and here you are. Miss this guy yet? Look at what he had to say about socialism. Socialism only works in two places. Heaven, where they don't need it, and hell, where well, they already have it, <laughs> Ronald Reagan. Amen. We'll go on to something else here that he had to say. The most terrifying words in the English language are, I'm from the government and I'm here to help. Whoa. The trouble with our liberal friends is not that they're ignorant. It's just that they know so much that isn't so. And here's something else this gentleman is wearing. It's a duty of the patriot to protect his country from its government. Going on, revolutionaries on the way. U.S. Social Forum expected to draw up to 20,000 people, and that rally here was supposed to be about 20,000 people in the city of Detroit. All right, Nolan Finley had something to say about this, about this particular group of socialists. Detroit hosts leftists Cavalcade. Jack, you want to read that by Nolan Finley? He says, this ain't no tea party. The forum is a hootenanny of pinkos, environuts, peaceniks, ludites, old hippies, robin hoods, and urban hunters and gatherers. In other words, a microcosm of the Obama administration. And Rexella, I had to laugh about something. He said, they're mainly lowlifes. They are trying to put 14 per room because they are the socialists of the hour, and the government has to give them everything. And they've got 300 tents they're setting up. And it says they all arrive with a $5 bill, a pair of underwear, Whoa. and never change either one Whoa. of them. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, no, Finley wrote that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right. One thing that I do want to say that my heart is very, very burdened for my country. And I want to ask Jack, are we going in the wrong direction? What do you think, friends? 
Jack, what do you think? Are we going in the wrong direction? We really are. And before this program is finished, you will be shocked with some of the information you hear. First of all, Psalm 33, 12 says, uh, Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. Remember the first commandment in Exodus 20, verse 3, Thou shall have no other gods before me. America was established as a Christian nation. George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, great men of God. And we don't believe that we have any other God except Yahweh, the Father, Yeshua, which is the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son, and the Greek for the Comforter, which is the Paraclete. And I'm going to tell you that all three of these form one God. That's what the Bible teaches. First John 5, 7, there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, Christ, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. They work in unison. We have a formula called H2O. When you get it out of the faucet, it's water. When you boil it, it's steam. And when you freeze it, it's ice. Three in one. And we are to teach all nations in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, Matthew 28, 19. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Ghost be with you all. And that's 2 Corinthians 13, 14, 3 in 1. Now Jesus, the second member of the Trinity, is my God. That's what this book teaches over and over. Matthew 1, 23, a virgin shall be with child and shall bring forth a son and shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted as God with us. Oh, do I like Acts 16, 30, the Philippian jailer said to Paul and Silas, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And he said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Now watch verse 34. They believed in God, Christ, with all of their house. Romans 9, 5, Christ came who is over all God, blessed forever. 1 Timothy 3, 16, great is the mystery of Godless, that God was manifest in the flesh. 1 John 5, 20, we have believed in the Lord Jesus Christ. This is the true God and eternal life. Now, he is the only Savior. But you know what? They're trying to get rid of the Lord Jesus right now. This hate speech that's coming. You'll not be able to say Jesus is the only way, even though Jesus himself said in John 8, 24, you die in your sins if you believe not that I am he. It's Jesus said in John 10, 9, I am the door by me if any man enter and be saved. And God showed me something powerful just two weeks ago in verse 1. He said, the door is the way, and anyone who climbs up any other way but the door, me, is a thief and a robber. You can't be saved without the Lord Jesus Christ. And, you know, we have a friend who runs one of the uh, Kirby stores, and it's Speedo Guftagas. And he said to me just yesterday, Eric Sully, he says, what's happening in America? You can't mention God in the schools. You can't read Bibles or pray. Why? Because... They can't take the word of God. In the beginning, God created heaven and earth, Genesis 1.1. We didn't evolve from monkeys. That's a lot of monkey business. And I'll tell you, these atheists want to get rid of it all. The Bible and prayer. Now, a court in Wisconsin is going to file a lawsuit for the atheists of America so that we'll get rid of God. We'll get rid of the day of prayer. God forgive us. You know what I think about these atheists? Exactly what this book says in Psalm 14, 1, Psalm 53, 1. The fool hath said in his heart, there is no God. And then Spiro went on to say to me, imagine, you can no longer say Merry Christmas. It's Happy Holidays. Listen, you guys who make millions off of the Lord Jesus' birthday every year, you are a bunch of hypocrites. It's his birthday. It's his day. And we ought to be able to say Merry Christmas. But you see, the first part of Christmas is C-H-R-I-S-T, Christ. Well, I got news for you. You know why Christ came? John 3, 16, God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him, in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And God the Father sent his son to be the savior of the world. 1 John 4, 14, no ifs, ands, or buts. Jesus is the way. Persecute me if you want, but I'll preach it till I draw my last breath. Oh, Jack, that's... Socialism's out. Yes, well, you know, we, as I say, I need to be praying for our country. And a question again, and Jack, that I would like to ask you, can we turn it around? We're going in one direction. Can we go in the other direction? Well, we're going to try with the coming election in November, but I'm not into politics. 
don't ever accuse me of being a politician. I am sticking up for Christ. I'm sticking up for the Bible. I'm sticking up for religion. If I can't find it in the Bible, I won't say it on the air. So I'm not into politics, believe me. But Rexella, I don't think we're going to be able to turn it around. 